right now at six, another Saturday, another win for Bucky. Highlights from New Jersey as the Badgers pick up steam down the stretch. And neighbors helping neighbors. Why a Grant County community is rallying around one of its own this weekend. Plus, Rogers gets sacked. A longtime sponsor says it's cutting ties with the MVP quarterback. That's all coming up at six. For the 20th season in a row, Wisconsin is going bowling. Paul Christ's team extended its winning streak to five and won its sixth game of the season this afternoon at Rutgers. The Scarlet Knights never really stuck around in this game as the Badgers won in a 52 to three blowout. Sports anchor Jordan Reed will have many of the highlights and stats coming up in sports. And to weather now, a beautiful fall day to spend outside watching Bucky. Here's a live look at your capital. It's a beautiful night, and it's going to get a little darker tomorrow. We're going to have plenty of daylight saving coverage coming up later in the newscast. But first, let's get a check in with meteorologist Austin Kopninski. Uh, I, I stopped watching that game early on because it was starting to look into a blowout, and I just saw that first final score for the first time, and oh my goodness, what a game here for UW. What a day of weather as well as we have another beautiful day ahead of us for tomorrow. Tomorrow and another near perfect day lined up for our Monday as well. 56 degrees outside currently. I don't have a jacket on right now, but if you are planning on spending extended periods of time outdoors, it might not be a bad idea. But the temperature is still pretty decent as of right now. Doppler track looking great as well as we are looking to stay dry here throughout the rest of the weekend. But our temperatures lower to mid 50s here for most of us. 57 currently in Watoma along with Janesville. So these temperatures really looking good as as of right now. Wind speeds also looking pretty good right now, but later on tonight we are expecting to see a little bit of a wind chill as temperatures do fall to a low of about 40 degrees, mostly clear skies overhead. So again, we're not worried about any precipitation tonight, but in the extended forecast, we may see our first few flakes falling. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll have a detailed look here at your extended forecast coming up a little bit later on. Oh, no, but thank you, Austin. We appreciate that. New at six tonight, together we stand. That's the message today. Mount Hope has over 20 friends and family members rallied around one of their own. Anna Hansen shows us how they proved that family is much more than blood. Robin Connolly's life was changed forever a month ago when her husband, Ron, was killed in a tragic accident. Now she's found that one thing in her life will remain consistent, the support of her friends. We're so blessed. Um, you can definitely tell that my husband and I were loved. September 26 is one Conley will never forget. That day, she lost her husband, Ron, in a tragic accident. But while that day has become a somber anniversary for Conley, every day since has served as a reminder of just how many people care about her. I have a great support system. Um, I can make a phone call and they're right there and they've got my back. Today, friends and family continued their outpouring of support, undertaking the task of harvesting 165 acres of corn from Conley's farm. I have people everywhere. This Gathering is at the farm at 6 a.m., a group of over 20 people started their day on combines and tractors, harvesting from four different areas. For this community, waking up before sunrise to help was a no-brainer. They say she and her late husband have done the same for them. I've known Ron for about 10 years. Uh, never said a whole lot, uh, but you always knew he was there to help you. I think it just speaks volumes again of rural America. Farmers help farmers. And while the community of volunteers hopes to keep their efforts moving for years to come. They've just got so many friends. And I just hope that this will continue, you know, year after year. Year after year isn't quite fleshed out for Robin. She says she's going to take things one step at a time. I'm just going to take one day at a time and see what it looks like in my new normal. And while she takes those difficult steps, she can rest assured that she won't ever walk alone. In Mount Hope, Anna Hansen, News 3 Now. Well, Robin's volunteers are hoping to harvest all 165 acres of corn by the end of the day. Next at six, two people are in custody after someone shot a gun in a parking lot on Madison's east side. This happened on East Spring Drive near a Burlington Coat Factory. When officers arrived, they found two people fighting. Now, no one was hurt, but they found several shell casings there. And for nearly a decade, Aaron Rodgers has been working with 
Uh, Provea Health. Now, he has served as a spokesperson and supported the health care organization's initiative throughout Wisconsin. But we learned today Provea is sacking the MVP quarterback. In a statement this afternoon, Provea said it made its decision to end its partnership with Rogers effective immediately. Provea says it remains deeply committed to protecting patients, staff, providers, and this community during the pandemic, which includes encouraging and helping all eligible populations get vaccinated against COVID-19. And this is just the latest fallout from Rogers' interview yesterday on the Pat McAfee show. In his public comments since testing positive for COVID on Wednesday, Rogers attempted to explain his reasons for not getting the vaccine. Now, Rogers claimed he didn't lie when he said back in August that he was immunized and complained that this is a witch hunt to people that are unvaccinated. And we have much more on Rogers' interview with Pat McAfee on our Channel 3000 News app. Remember, it's free and available in the App Store. Well, breaking news tonight. A federal appeals court is temporarily halting President Biden's vaccine requirements for businesses with at least 100 workers. The circuit court granted an emergency stay of requirement this afternoon. Under the order, workers have to be vaccinated by January 4th or face mask requirements and also weekly tests. Now, vaccine appointments for children under 12 are filling up fast with many families taking advantage of the weekend to get this done. Tahalil Mahodin shares how parents are feeling about Pfizer's new children vaccine. In just six hours, Group Health Cooperative of Southern Wisconsin has vaccinated 500 newly eligible children with plans to vaccinate almost 1,000 more in the next two weeks. Today, they hosted two clinics, one in DeForest and the other in Madison. Between the two locations, a constant stream of children made their way through one of 10 kid-friendly lanes to get their shot. Clinical Operations Director Tiffany Pipp says they not only wanted to make sure kids got vaccinated, but also make it fun for them to do so. So that it's not so scary when our kids walk in and they see the superhero theme and they see everybody dressed up and excited wearing capes and really trying to figure out how we can do it well and really minimize that fear for our kids. Pip says group health has gotten great feedback from kids excited to get back to normal. She also says with the holidays around the corner, families are especially eager to get everyone vaccinated. Now, if you and your kids want, if you want to get your kids vaccinated before Christmas, the deadline to get the first dose is November 19th. And CVS will begin giving Pfizer's vaccine to children ages 5 to 11 tomorrow. 1,700 of CVS's pharmacies are currently accepting appointments, including six in Wisconsin. Patients are encouraged to schedule their appointments online at CVS.com or through CVS Pharmacy's app. And young children could begin getting their shots at the Align Energy Center as early as next week. Public Health walked us through their setup earlier this week. Officials say they're working to quickly expand vaccine operations. Now, right now, booster uh, doses are still available at the Align Energy Center on Tuesdays through Saturdays. And we have a full list of the sites available on channel3000.com. And there could also be a fourth COVID vaccine on the market by the end of the year. Novavax says it plans to turn in its data to the FDA by New Year. Now, it's aiming to earn emergency use authorization for its shot. The company CEO says 100 million doses would be ready to ship immediately. Now, Indonesia just became the first country to authorize Novavax's shot for emergency use. In more local news, tradition continues in Dane County as the Sheriff's Office begins its annual hunter sight in. From now until November 19th, area hunters can prepare for the deer season by sighting their shotguns, rifles, and pistols in the safe area at the Dane County Law Enforcement Training Center. Now, people must only bring firearms that are legal to hunt for deer, and there's also a fee of $10 for the first gun you bring and $5 for each additional gun afterwards. It's really important that you sight in your rifle so you know where that round that you shoot is going to go. Um, you want to hit your target, and we're talking about deer here, so you want to hit your target, and they, um, you don't lose that trail, you don't lose the deer. It's beneficial to the deer and overall safety for everybody else hunting in the woods. The training center is located at 5184 State Highway 19. Now that's near Wanakee. No appointment is needed and the facility is open each day at 830 in the morning to 330 p.m. Well, one year to win. Next at six, we're going to hear from Governor Evers as Wisconsin Democrats kick off their efforts to keep the state blue in 2022. And tonight at 10, with Veterans Day right around the corner, how the Middleton community is making sure everyone can honor the nation's veterans. That's coming up later at 10. Clean, safe, 
fun. I wanted it all when we needed daytime care for mom. But Grace's new adult day center is so nice. Now she goes twice a week while I'm at work and loves it. A Grace, caring every step of the way. All right, here we go. Miller in motion. What, wait, is that a baby on the field? It looks like it, Craig. And the defensive linemen are playing peekaboo. I've never seen anything like that before. Harris now appears to be burping the baby. Uh, that's a great moment right there. Ref going to the rule book here. Well, wait a minute. Harris is off to the races. We don't need any more trick plays. Touchdown! But we could all use more ways to save. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's got to be a long bus ride home for the defense. Switch the Geico for more ways to save. Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Your whole team can see your upper thigh. Pour that smooth roast and aim that camera up high. The best part of waking With dad's arthritis, he struggles with housework and bathing, so I called a grace. Yes, a grace. With their age at home service, dad gets the help he needs to stay independent at home. A grace, caring every step of the way. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. The Democratic Party of Wisconsin is coming together this weekend in Madison to kick off its one year to win weekend of action. Governor Tony Evers and Democratic Party of Wisconsin Chair Ben Wickler helped kick off the weekend event with an in-person event this morning at Madtown O's. Now the one year to win event is a statewide initiative to rally voters and organize volunteers to canvas their neighborhoods, emphasizing to their communities the importance of this upcoming 2022 election. Governor Evers told us this weekend this is critically important to his campaign. It's a huge initiative for Wisconsin Democrats, huge initiative for me. Uh, the way we win elections and get people out the vote is have people locally organized like this, knocking on doors, building relationships with their neighbors so that over the next year they have opportunities to talk with folks and uh, talk about what issues are important to them. Ever said last time this event was held, volunteers knocked on about 50,000 doors during the weekend of action. This year, he hopes to double that number at 100,000. That's a whole lot of doors to knock on. Well, results within two to three months. That's how soon President Biden says Americans can expect to see the first effects of the bipartisan infrastructure bill, which was passed by the House late last night. The president spoke with reporters at the White House this morning. I'm not going to be a prognosticator and make a judgment on what, how the election could or would have been different. Each state is different, and I, I don't know. But I think the one message that came across was get something done. It's time to get something done. Stop, y'all, stop talking. The bill was get in limbo for done. months before it was passed last night. Now CBS News' Steve Dorsey has more from Washington. The House delivered a partial victory to President Biden late Friday night, passing his trillion-dollar infrastructure bill. The motion is adopted. The day began with the president urging House Democrats to take action on that measure, as well as a $2 trillion social spending package. Send the infrastructure bill to my desk. Send the bill back better bill to the Senate. The infighting among moderate and progressive Democrats derailed any hope that the two would advance together. The reality is this is too important for the country. We need to get both bills done. We've always said we need to get both bills done. And tonight we have an agreement that will get both bills done. Republicans said this week's election results were a warning. Voters from Virginia to Texas to Seattle, to Minneapolis, to New Jersey, sent a mandate to their elected officials. Stop catering to the progressive left. Progressives had threatened to withhold their support for the infrastructure bill unless their demands were met. 
The stalemate lasted until five centrist Democrats sent them a letter promising to vote for the other budget bill as long as it pays for itself. Steve Dorsey, CBS News, Washington. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she hopes the president's other bill will be ready to vote for by Thanksgiving. Well, it's time to turn back those clocks. Coming up next at 6, some tips for how not to freak out when it starts getting dark during the mid-afternoon. And plus, our first chances of snow might be just a few days away. Austin's going to be back with your forecast right after the break. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is this weekend only. Rose and Rose of Spas Hot Tubs and Swim Spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only in the Exhibition Hall at the Alliant Energy Center, Madison. First psoriasis, then psoriatic arthritis. It was really holding me back. Standing up, even walking was tough. My joints hurt. I was afraid things were going to get worse. I was always hiding, and that's just not me. Not being there for my family, that hurt. I had to do something. I started Cosentix. I'm feeling good. Watch me. Cosentix helps people with psoriatic arthritis move, look, and feel better. It targets more than just joint pain and treats the multiple symptoms, like joint swelling and tenderness, back pain, helps clear skin, and helps stop further joint damage. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis, an increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. It's good to be moving on. Watch me. Move, look, and feel better. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. During Steinhoffel's three-day sale, you're going to save like never before. Start with 35% off the largest selection of in-stock furniture, mattresses, and decor. Plus, take an extra $100 off when you spend $19.99. And when you take advantage of Steinhoffel's special financing, you save even more. It's a sale so big that it can only last three days. So get in early and save big. It's Steinhoffel's three-day sale. Only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. We know car accidents happen every day. Unfortunately, many of us don't know our rights when it happens to us. Victims often settle too soon and can't cover medical bills or long-term effects from the accident. Contact the personal injury attorneys at Gingrass Thompson & Walks for a free consultation if you've suffered injury or loss due to a car accident. GTW attorneys are consistently recognized as the best and have won some of the biggest settlements and awards for their clients. Gingrass Thompson & Walks. Spa, spa, spa. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is this weekend only. Rose and Rose of Spas Hot Tubs and Swim Spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only in the Exhibition Hall at the Alliant Energy Center, Madison. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. This weekend, most of us will get an extra hour of our day back. That's awesome. Daylight saving time ends tomorrow morning. That means at 2 a.m. you'll have to set all of your clocks back one hour. While you might think you should stay up tomorrow night or uh, maybe your normal bedtime, a local doctor we talked to says this week you need to probably get a little, you need to go to bed a little bit sooner than that. What they're doing is they're just sleeping, like, you know, one hour less. And that kind of, you know, can um, affect your circadian rhythm in the sense that you're just more tired, you lost an hour of sleep. And studies have shown that the lack of sleep or losing an hour as well or gaining an hour in general can, you know, cause uh, some uh, sleep hygiene effects, can make you more grumpy the next day. You're just not ready for the Monday that follows along. Hawaii and most of Arizona skipped the time change. Now about 70 countries around the world also observe daylight saving time with some calling it summer hours. Now let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast with Austin Kobninski. But Austin, I also have a question for you. Do you know yeah. which country was the first to enact daylight saving time? I have no idea. I'm going to go with the U.S. All right, honestly. You, a but... quick Google search on my phone. <laughs> It was Germany. Germany. Germany is your final answer. So we can blame Germany for daylight savings time then, I guess. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I was crossing my fingers, hoping and praying that that study would say you could stay up a little bit later. Unfortunately, we got the opposite. But, hey, today, tomorrow, and Monday, we reached the 60s today. We're going to stay there for tomorrow and Monday. So we really do have a very beautiful, immediate stretch of weather in front of us. And we're going to stay dry through Monday. But then afterwards, we're going to bring back the precipitation chances and cooler temperatures. 
and temperatures do look to fall low enough to possibly bring the first few flakes of the season. But taking a look outside right now, no precipitation. We are staying dry here for the rest of tonight, tomorrow and Monday. Even most of Tuesday as of right now is looking pretty dry. Just a slim chance to see a passing shower on Tuesday. So we're going to go way out west here. Areas around Portland, Seattle actually seeing a little bit of some mixed precipitation right now. Some rainfall, even some snowflakes. And we're going to be in a similar situation a little bit later down the line. But in the immediate forecast, again, it is looking very nice here with that future track jumping us back up to the mid 60s for tomorrow. Quite a bit of some sunshine as well. A little bit more cloud cover I do think is going to move through on Monday. But we're still looking generally good to go, at least with our temperatures still rising to those lower 60s for most of us. But let's talk about that next precipitation chance on Wednesday, especially in the afternoon. We're going to see those showers developing and moving through. But on the tail end of this low pressure system, we could actually see a few snowflakes making their way to our communities. Now, it's not anything that's to be a cause for concern as of right now. A lot of our models are keeping that snowfall on the lighter end of things. If that changes, of course, we'll keep you posted. But hey, those first few snowflakes could be not too far away. But our six to 10 day precipitation outlook does show that we're going to be pretty close to average here near the end of the forecast. As you can see, those precipitation chances dwindling just a little bit here near the end of the forecast. But those temperatures really are going to fall quite a bit as well. Seven day forecast the next few days. Absolutely gorgeous. Remember to turn back those clocks here an hour later on tonight. Tomorrow, a beautiful day, much of the same on Monday. Then we'll start to cool things down and notice how towards the beginning of this next weekend, that's whenever we can cool down enough to possibly see a few snowflakes entering some areas here. Austin, I don't know if I'm alone on this, but I actually, <laughs> I'm today years old when I realize it's daylight saving time and not daylight savings. I don't know, I've been calling it daylight savings time. This, hmm. My whole life's a lie, I, I guess. Did you know that? This I entire... did not know that, to be honest. And now I think on air, <laughs> I'm going to have to say daylight saving time because I, I've been saying it for years on air, savings time. I had no idea. I literally found out like an hour before the newscast. Sorry. Oh, so, wow. I'm, <laughs> hey, the more you know. Right? Breaking news, everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Austin. The Badgers win a big one again. We're going to take a look at Wisconsin's blowout win coming up next in sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Not all accidents happen on busy freeways. They happen in neighborhoods like yours. No matter where your accident happened, Gruber Law Offices is here to help. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Your eyes, beautiful on the outside, but if you have diabetes, there can be some not so pretty stuff going on inside. It's true, with diabetic retinopathy, excess sugar can damage blood vessels, causing vision loss or even blindness. So remember this, now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is important to your long-term diabetes management. See a path forward with actions and treatments that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Visit NowIC.com and take control of your sight. I have worked at HuffCorp for the last 36 years. HuffCorp, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. 
hurt in an accident, do you know who to call? Call Goober Law Offices. Everybody knows that. The call and consultation are always free. Hurt in an accident? Everybody knows you call Gruber Law Offices. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Coming up a Sunday morning, we'll have the results from Saturday's Badgers, as well as everything you need to know before the Packers kick off Sunday afternoon. Join us Sunday morning at 6.30. on their home turf, put up a season-high 52 points, seven different Badger score, and the nation's best defense brought the grit factory. The momentum in this game truly shifts in the second quarter. Wisconsin's up 10-3 to on a kick return. Former Badger Aaron Cruikshank, now a Scarlet Knight, he gets taken out by Wisconsin's kicker Jack Van Dyke. Ball pops out and the Badgers recover, and they quickly make it 17-3. Well, then on Rutgers' ensuing possession, it's going to be Caesar Williams with a pick six. That's the Badgers' first one since 2019. Wisconsin just rolling in this one. Well, they already got 45 points on the board, and Verona's Jackson Aker gets in on the action. He's going to score his first Badger tutty as Wisconsin routes Rutgers 52-3, extending the win streak to five games. And once again, they're bowl eligible. Undefeated Whitewater with a chance to clinch a share of the title, the conference title this afternoon, hosting lacrosse. Lit on the end zone through three quarters until the Warhawks took it off. Max Myler rips it deep to Tyler Holty for 70 yards. First and goal, UW. Well, then two plays later, it's going to be Myler calling his own number. He hits Pater with the QB draw. That makes it 13 0, and the Eagles would not come back. Warhawks win 13 7, become conference champions for the 38th time in program history. Packers make some roster moves ahead of their meeting with the Chiefs. Wide receiver Marquez Valdez Scantling has been activated from the injured reserve, and Blake Bortles has been elevated from the practice squad to active roster as a COVID-19 replacement. Green Bay and Kansas City kick off tomorrow at 325 with Jordan Love under center for his first NFL career start. Top-ranked Wisconsin women's hockey team returns home for a two-game set with Bemidji State, although the Badgers hold a significant advantage in the all-time series and are 8-2 and two in the last 10 meetings with the Beavers. That doesn't mean this matchup will be a walk in the park. Badgers have a couple of chances to score on the power play, then on a 5-on-3, but they can't capitalize. Bemidji State's defense is tough. Well, finally, late second period, Wisconsin punches one through, but it's called back, and the game remains scoreless. It stays that way through the third, through overtime, Wisconsin ends up winning in the shootout, one nothing. The state girls volleyball tournament wraps up in Green Bay today. McFarland facing Luxembourg Casco in the Division II championship. The Spartans fall in four sets. They finish the season as the Division II runners up. Awesome. Oh man, we have ourselves a pretty chilly night ahead of us, but actually a little bit warmer than average. Just cooler than what we have seen with that low of about 40 degrees. Then you take a look at our extended forecast here. And again, very nice days in the immediate forecast. Tomorrow and Monday, both looking absolutely fantastic right now. But then you get towards the end of the work week and the beginning of next weekend. Temperatures cooling down to those lower 40s. Not only that, some snowflakes could fall out of the sky. Thankfully, with what we're looking at right now. A lot of that looks to be on the lower end of things, most of which would end up melting if it reaches the ground. And that's just if we see some snowflakes actually developing. So that's to be determined. But right now it's in the forecast. We'll keep you posted with the latest. That's all we have for six. We'll see you later on at 10.